Welcome to an RBHSP with Mr. Dalton video. This video today is on projectile motion. Projectile motion occurs when an object is projected into the air. The path of the projectile is roughly parabolic, and there are two constant forces that always act on a projectile. They are gravity and air resistance. There are four factors that affect the flight of a projectile, and we'll look at each of these today in this video. The second factor that affects a projectile is spin. Now let's watch that clip again. The basketball's trajectory is not straight as it goes to the hoop. And this is because of the Magnus force. Watch as the ball curves through the sky. It's quite incredible. Now let's look at how this happens. As the ball is moving through the air and it's spinning, the air is flown around the ball from the front to the back. In this example, it's flowing around the ball in the same direction at the top, but in the opposite direction at the bottom. Because of friction, the air is dragged around the ball at the top. But at the bottom, the opposite happens. The air comes to the ball and it's stopped. The net result is the air is deflected downward. And because of Newton's third law, the air exerts an equal and opposite force causing the ball to move upwards. And this explains why balls curve in the air. This is known as the Magnus Force. Ray Allen's three-pointers, the first component to examine is launch angle. Studies have shown that the ideal release angle for a three-pointer is 48 degrees. Our analysis reveals that in the .73 seconds it normally takes Allen to get a shot off, he consistently creates a launch angle within just two degrees of ideal. Next, release point. Accuracy improves the closer you can release the ball on a plane that's parallel to the rim. That's because that plane represents the shortest distance between the ball and the bucket. Less distance means you have a larger margin of error. Allen approaches that plane by consistently timing his mechanics perfectly to release the ball at the apex of his jump, with the ball almost nine feet off the ground. That's one of the reasons his three-point percentage from the left corner is roughly 41% higher than the NBA average. Finally, backspin. Puts about two hertz or two rotations per second on the ball. This helps decelerate the ball when it strikes the backboard or the rim, using friction to shed energy and lose velocity. And a slower ball is more likely to fall for three. Three point shot. Curry typically releases the ball between 50 and 55 degrees. At just 6'3", four inches shorter than the NBA average, not only does this higher trajectory help him shoot over taller defenders, it also creates a larger target at the other end of the parabola. Compared to a flatter 45 degree release, Curry's ball approaches the rim at a steeper angle, which essentially increases the area the ball could pass through the hoop by 19%. 